And there's no doubt tensions are high this election day. Just take a look at this video from around the country, from Dallas to Chicago to Southern California. Businesses boarding up, worried about potential unrest and violence. Now, we've never covered an election quite like this. So what is behind that tension and that fear? Paula Tutman has been looking into that question. She joins us from a Warren polling place. Pa Paula. Yeah, hi, Karen. You know, this is something many of us are used to seeing on the international news happening in other countries, certainly not our country, not our democracy. And I talked to some experts who talked about how we haven't seen anything like this since the Civil War. In Warren today, as voters go to the polls, there will be security seen and unseen as Mayor Jim Fouts, acting on the concerns of his constituents, has deployed election polling place security in the way of uniformed and undercover police to guard against potential voter intimidation or threats of violence. I did see a few ride through just to be on the safe side to make sure everything was good and everything. We want everybody to be able to vote and we want them to be able to vote without any fear. Across the nation, we are seeing for the first time in modern history, businesses boarding up, police being deployed and hearing of possible threats of violence. Professor Dave Dulio teaches political science and is the director of civic engagement at Oakland University. That, that sort of shook me a little bit that folks are already anticipating and seems like planning on uh, election day violence or post election violence. And I think that that's a it's frankly a sad commentary on where our politics are right now. Professor Aaron Dwyer is with the Department of History at OU. It's a lot more closely akin, I think, to some of the elections that occurred in the early 1870s um, uh, in the wake of the 15th Amendment allowing African Americans to vote. I think we often see these upticks in violence and particularly uh, white supremacist violence um, uh, when there has been a perceived uh, increase in rights, uh, often for African-Americans. Certainly our nation has seen civil war. Democracy is indeed messy and unfinished business. I can't speak for uh, Thomas Jefferson, but again, this was a major problem throughout the 1870s of, uh, of voter suppression at the polls in particular. And and yes, I think it's 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 gravely disconcerting. And I think... Uh, would be bothersome to to many former presidents. While I think democracy is strong here, I think our system stands up to the test. Uh, this would test it like we've never seen it before. You know, the important thing to note is that not only are our allies watching, but our enemies as well. Our experts certainly agree that the most important thing is that peaceful, transfer of power. Karen? All right. Thank you very much, Paula.